And so that became the central guiding philosophy for Nintendo, this lateral thinking with withered technology. And you can see it really come out in a lot of the things they do, like this. It's called the Nintendo Labo, which became a hit in some countries. And it is cardboard. It's cardboard that they sent people and told them to build stuff around their video games. And, and I, I like using this example because it reminded me of something that was done here at the Face School, which was this design project where ninth graders were asked to interview first graders, right? The first graders were like the people that Gunpei was seeing on the train, get ideas from them, and design prototypes of chairs that they then built out of cardboard. Right? So they did something pretty awesome without really having to go to the cutting edge. What they had to do was go to people they weren't used to talking to and get ideas, right? And then prototype something and, and build it. That's a really cool um, operation. I love this quote from one of the ninth graders, H.P. Park, first graders have infinite imaginations. In fact, I'd call them a gold mine, an idea gold mine. And one of the reasons I really like this quote is because H.P. Park had been a first grader, right? All of the ninth graders have been first graders. And yet, the first graders are still an idea gold mine for them. Because if they can go back and see things differently with outside eyes, right, in that curious way, then all of a sudden it's an idea gold mine. This is like something that some creativity scientists call defamiliarization, which is uh, a process of trying to look at familiar things with outside eyes. Turns out to be a, an important spur for creativity.